Hey everyone, it's uh, Andrew again. Uh, and in the last episode, we gathered up the dung weaved. We uh, helped Amber out, and now we are entering back into the music room. And we are faced with a challenge. We have to beat <coughs> 30 ninja imps in 45 seconds, which is actually pretty easy uh, when you consider the fact that uh, there's a little bit of uh, damage that's done when you fire uh, the ammo out, but uh, if you're not careful, they're going to grow in size, but I mean, look how fast this is, uh, how fast this occurs. The only problem is the fact that you can accidentally run out of ammo. So I've got eight of these left. Alright, I've got five left. I've got uh, 11 seconds to defeat these guys. Alright. Uh, three, two, one. I did it just in time. Wow. So that was kind of close, but there's Miss Buff Brass. Now, I can walk up to her right now if I want to, but I'm currently surrounded by uh, ninja imps that want me dead. And so I want to take care of these, uh, these imps first before I talk to her. Because we'll be stuck dealing with something in just a moment. Uh, something very problematic. And so I'm going to want these guys out of the room. No, you're not going to get the opportunity to do your stuff. And I get another achievement. Ah, bruised knuckles. I defeated 1,000 ghoulies over time, and so that's very helpful for me. But now we move back to uh, Miss Buff Brass, and... She's angry at us because of the fact we did not throw that in the trash like we were supposed to, and we have gone and made a mess. So she angrily takes it from us, and as she does so, a cursed mummy appears. Uh, which is great, because I try to head to the exit... And we get another hunchback. Remember, the hunchbacks can't be attacked in the face. They can only, I mean, they can't be attacked in the back. They can only be attacked in the face. So what you want to do real quick is grab the uh, invulnerability. And you see these cushions here. So you don't have to fight through this. You can easily do the challenge complete and skip past all that. Now, some may say that's kind of, uh, you know, that that's uh, cheap of me. Ah, uh, we see the attack on the part of the cursed mummy. He didn't do any damage to me, but, you know. Anyway, I'm just going to leave the room now. I don't have any reason why I should continue fighting. And what this does, this brings us back to the sitting room. Where we're faced with another challenge. Okay. We have a limited number of attacks that we can use. We have to kill everything within the uh, amount of attacks that we're given. And we have to kill everything. So, haunted wall painting. One. Oh. Two. He's dead. And so two more wall paintings appear. And, uh, they shouldn't be too difficult to take on. Uh, you've got at least a... a a number of weapons to the point that you can take out most of them. And in case you get worried, there's your dizziness for the Grim Reaper. But once you have the other two defeated, you're able to just defeat that guy pretty quickly. Six attacks, and he's done. So nothing to really worry about there. And so we exit the... St Ooh, time out. We don't exit the study now. Uh... I want to make sure that I haven't missed. I did miss. It's underneath this couch. The rare tome. So we're up to 39, so uh, we should be able to do a couple of those challenges now. Uh, there are a couple that we're missing at the moment, but yeah, we've at least got most of them. And now we're back in the coat room, and I didn't even find the rare tome the first time we went through it. Your challenge here is you cannot attack. Or damage any of the items and it's hard when stuff like this is happening oh well if I'd been paying attention well 
Uh, let's try this again and let's not fail quite as much as we did. Uh, we'll she tries to scare us. We'll grab the shocker blocker. We'll grab the one hit wonder. That way, as I'm being frightened by things, I can just destroy it quickly. Oh, okay, so... Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh... So let's try this a third time. I'm going to have to, if I can't do it this time, I'm going to have to edit this uh, until I can uh, get this stuff found. So I'm going to wander around the room just real quick until I can hopefully find the tome and try to avoid the Medusas. It's kind of a hard to avoid all of the creatures that are in here because uh, they make it difficult. Uh, I'll have to come back later and see if there's a tome in there. But we're back in the Grand Hallway. And the door opens for us, but there's some creatures not happy that we're in the room. We have made skeletons. They're basically the regular skeletons in French dresses. And so they're easy to defeat. You know. Uh, but if we move over uh, towards this bookcase, we have another rare tome, which makes me think I missed it the last time around. Uh, again, anything that we miss, I'm going to go back and... Uh, and uh, recover and try to show on camera as we are attacked by uh, this door. Yeah, you can't attack. Yeah, that's what happens when you try to continue attacking him as he is on the ground. He has a uh, attack which is going to do a great amount of damage to you, so you're going to want to be careful about that. But we no longer are limited to not breaking anything here, and so... The door is just kind of waiting for us to appear. Doesn't find the floating table to be the least bit weird. And so we take advantage of that. As he nails us twice. And I think I've got a maid uh, coming after me as well. So... Oh, no! Ah! I forgot I wasn't supposed to attack with anything but weaponry. And because of that, death is now knocking on my door. So, I can avoid this. I can avoid this. In fact, I think I can use this to my advantage, maybe. Aha! Death took out the... Uh-oh. 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 I don't know how the camera's gonna look. All right, let's see the camera. Nope, 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 nope. You notice Death took out the uh, t uh, door for us, and so you can use him to your advantage. And the fire imps have returned to the kitchen, and so Moss Hoops Wheel wants us to take out the imps again, take out the fire extinguisher, and we have a minute and thirty seconds to defeat them all. So, again, this isn't going to be too terribly difficult. They're quite easy. You just got to be careful and don't hold the uh, hold the extinguisher down. That way you don't run out of it. And you're able to just easily take this out. But some more fire imps pop out of the... Uh... Uh, uh, nope. Some more fire imps pop out of the soup and they are able to do a little flamethrower attack as well as spitting balls of fire we have 50 seconds and there are two of them left I don't know if we can do it guys I think they may just be too much for us alright that's all of them didn't even need the time there at the bottom and so we have the dungweed for the cauldron so we take the cutscene where everything is mixed together and it's all floating at the top. And, uh, yeah, it's good dungweed, alright. So we mix it up 
and there's a concoction, a mysterious interaction that all of these things have together. She adds a little salt for flavor and a little bit of pepper. And, uh, you know, you, you want to have a good flavor that's attached to these. And, uh, all we have to do is give this concoction to Amber, and she's going to be A-OK. -okay. And as we're forced out of the room, it seems... Yeah. So we're now in the cellar. And we're given another challenge. The challenge is we're finding a ghost. If we are attacked... Um, if we're attacked, then the Grim Reaper comes. And there aren't really a lot of uh, weapons available for us. So we just walk out and break these items. And with that, the Grim Reaper just out in the open... As I get nailed by a treasure chest. So, I've got the feeling. I've got the feeling that I'm going to be dead soon because here comes the Grim Reaper. I'm going to save uh, that one item for a little bit later. And I'm just going to go ahead and get these enemies out in the open. And go ahead and kill them. Alright. I don't want to make the Grim Reaper dizzy just yet. Because of the fact that uh, if I do so, it's not going to make things good for me. Alright. If you... Uh, uh, run, 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 run. Alright, notice the fact he's getting faster. And he's got me. So even if I try to run, he... Even if I would have swung at him, he would have taken me out. So, uh... If I can't make it this time, we'll skip ahead to when I actually do make it. So... And free the barrels. Free the skeletons. A great fight there, little Cooper. from me. One of those guys has the key. Oh, and there's the tome. I can show off the tome real quick. That's where it is. See you in a minute. What? None of them had the key? Ah. You have the key. You've got to have the key. I've killed everything else. Oh, crud. You don't have the key? When the crap has the key? Oh, it's in this cask. So, I'm going to die anyway. Alright, so whatever it is, it's in here. Ah. 
Really? Ah! Come here! I just noticed something. I think you can tell the enemy that has the key in it because it doesn't want to attack me, it wants to avoid me. Okay, I know how to do this though. That's the reason why they have the, uh, the freezing soup can. And so we're going to make readily ready use of it. Uh, so we're going to go hunting down the little spider that's causing us a great amount of issues. And uh, that we did not kill earlier and smack him one good time. We're going to go ahead and head to the exit because we don't have to grab the key. We just have to leave. I had to say, if he doesn't have the key, I'm going to freak out right now. Alright, so he's dead. And so we go from the cellar to the next room. But first, we're going to get scared. Oh, and because I had the, uh, the scare blocker, I don't have to worry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop here before we go any further. In the next episode, we will heal our girlfriend, and we will hopefully escape this place. And so, uh, we gathered up the items for the potion. We've done what we needed to do. In the next episode, we're going to heal our girlfriend. And so, we will see you real soon.